Hello everyone, I'm Lana from South Florida. Welcome to my channel. And let's check out new blooms. It's mid-February. I have quite few vendors blooming. Some cattleya starting to bloom. So it is very exciting here in the, gar in the garden. This is a beautiful uh, vendor species, Lamilata and she has three spikes this is actually two spikes together <laughs> and then another one in the back just spacing out different way but i love the flowers is pretty small but they're clustered and spikes are pretty good size for the size of the vienda she's still a baby <laughs> she's still a young and a beautiful kind of white color with the of, um, cranberry maybe brownish cranberry lower petals and this beautiful purple leaf and um, I think I have her for a year so she's reblooming for me for the first time BL orchids. I got her from BL orchids. This poor thing, I don't know what happened to her, just she was not doing so well. <laughs> Still have a flower, but the spike dried out. And this one is still blooming. This is the mama and the kiki. They usually bloom same time huge flowers beautiful bright color she's been blooming for a while little damages but gorgeous this one i don't have a name and she's from home before back baby orchid but i have her for several years and i see yellow one can we see you better yellow with this beautiful Hmm. brownish spots maybe <laughs> hard to tell but she will get brighter but she just started opening up still some buds not open so the flowers get bigger and brighter more brighter yellowish color and she's also pretty young orchid that's a uh, cool body fragrance i believe and this baby is on the way out it was red colored in castilis giganta i have a couple here three of them attached to the tree two or teeny tiny babies been here for a few years but not growing fast actually I've noticed that they are very slow in growth. The three vendors are Rinka Stylish Gentas that attach to the palm trees. Really, I think they like more moisture. Here the roots are so exposed, a lot of air circulation, so they get dry very fast. Whether I need to water them twice a day to make them happy, but that I cannot do. <laughs> And I keep talking about dividing this baby, but very soon. So she's getting a new flower spike up there. That's the Violeta Benjan, Violeta Benjan, Linda. And here <laughs> something is blooming, but way. All right, let's come here, baby. Come here, baby. I want to see you because you're beautiful. She is also super fragrant. The spike is not as big. Sometimes she get bigger spike. And there's some little damages here. I don't know who got to her, but um, beautiful purple leaf. And very, very fragrant. That's the Tiag Paxorn fragrance. I think she might be mixed, uh, uh, one of the parents, maybe Mimi Palmer, she looks very similar. And 
this one is also super fragrant. Not as attractive flowers, but I love your fragrance. The baby. And she's been blooming for a long time. She's a little bit burned out. The usual lip has more color in it. And look who is open here. Very similar to another one we just saw. But uh, this one has a tag. So maybe the other one is the same orchid. The one that I don't have tag. Four, but this was also a Home Depot uh, big baby orchid and she probably I have to about four years okay I don't see if I'm getting a good picture of you here it's just so clustered <laughs> huge flowers so looking like waxy shiny and uh, this one little miniature vienda from mods is still blooming and again she blooms very often teeny tiny plant <laughs> with pretty good size spike <laughs> i think it's very attractive and um, i always show her name because mods orchids have still them So it's Mods Quantum, doesn't want to focus, very kind of limeish, yellowish, limeish color more than yellowish with the purple lip, very pretty and also fragrant. I saw a couple of spikes here but for some reason they are really stuck in there. This one, oh, <laughs> no focusing. This one I never filmed, but she was blooming. Right. Couple of flowers left here. <laughs> Super fragrant. So cute. Um, yellow oranges with this cute purple lip. So, and that was a little one. Still very young. Venda Bangkok Star. Okay, there we go. But she's on way out. I just want you guys to see the color. Something happened with this spike. I was so excited to see that, but I don't know. It's it did fall once. Maybe it was damage falling, but um, I don't think it's gonna bloom. So this is the one that not long ago I, I hang on this. Um, Actually, it's red oak piece of wood that I got from Home Depot and it's just took off. Really likes that. Um, the reason was I had to do it because her old mountain rotted away and she fell off with that. And it seems like she likes her new home. She already grown two new canes and this big spike which is got damaged for some reason. There is a... <laughs> my beautiful Schomburgia or Lyalia she still have another spike over there it's hard to see but I had her film last time gorgeous colors it's not good light right now here so I cannot get anything but I did in my past video we had something with her this baby I have to really be careful and spray them for the bugs because I see I'm getting little damages to the flower spikes this one two of them actually was damaged this one got damaged over here as a dry but then it gave a kick out a side growth so it's gonna bloom hopefully <laughs> I don't know how to make it seen so even though it's that um, some some orchids like this is the Brutonia hybrid 
so she gave a little side kick like sometimes you can see phalaenopsis do if you break off the spike sometimes it grows side branches like this one here have a bunch of the side branches growing from the older spike beside the new one so brutonia does it for me too all right what else is blooming here <laughs> Oh, look at you, happy. Uh, Nodosa. Catalia Nodosa. No. Something else. What's your full name? Uh, Brazavola Nodosa. There we go. So this is not a season, but she's still blooming. I have few spikes here they're so slow it's been for a while <laughs> and this one's still blooming that's a um, oncidium type i don't have a name for her so let's see what else is in bloom now here under the sunscreen where my cat lays mounted cattleyas and in, uh, in cyclias and few other things are they are here under that shade 50 50 shade uh, sunshade cloth so because on this side we have daytime sun like the hottest sun so this protect them from burning out and this one is first time bloomer <laughs> It gave me a few flowers. This was a cutting that I put in a clay pot without media. I just put a little bit of coconut husk in there, uh, coconut fiber. And I attached it just because the cutting was so awkward. I didn't know what to do with it, but she grew a couple new um, canes. Stop moving. <laughs> I actually won her at the Boca Raton Orchid Society. We have raffles during our meetings. It's RLC Zool Bill Williams. So it was a part of the huge orchid. And I'm so proud to have her. And I saw this morning this baby blooming. So she was potted and not long ago I took her out of the pot because I start noticing the leaves start getting really soft, kind of wrinkly. So definitely her roots start getting damaged. So I took her out of the pot. She is really bare root. Whatever was left there, she start growing new roots because she had a couple of new growths. And again no media in the basket little bit of coconut fiber that's it and she has few new roots and she kick out this beautiful flower and she's super fragrant i love this orchid and that's her name she also was a home depot ba uh, bag baby and she actually grew a lot but she really kind of kick back because of the uh, root rot in the basket in the in the top in the pot <laughs> I guess I overwatered her there were few things blooming here my giganta is still blooming look at this beauty there I cannot reach her and she has such a messy fruits that I don't want to move her but we might see I hope it's focusing well because my camera camera glaring I don't see much so this one is spotted Rinka style is giganta she's in the media a little bit of um, expanded clay pebbles so, and it seems like she's loving it because they do like more moisture she has lots of aerial roots too oh, but so happy there anyway there is something else here 
just two little flowers on this one <laughs> sorry guys the sun is in my eyes and I know this is not focused <laughs> come on they're so cute little orange flowers so cute bare root on the wooden slotted mount that's her name and she's very young also a home depot bag baby orchid all right let's move on i know we have something here a couple of <laughs> it's beautiful those are little phalaenopsis and they're super fragrant love 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 them nice fragrance this one is the happiest one it, they um i do grow them in moss because i didn't figure out yet much about them some doing better some not so good <laughs> see this one the philanopsis tetraspis it had so many flower spikes but it is not as happy uh, and I have to be very careful to repot it, so it will, I'll get to it, it's just, I have some other things I need to get done before that. This one has a little more purple color. Also super fragrant. And um, this is her name. I love the I love the smell. <laughs> the fragrance is awesome. And the other one, this is the the red yellow one. Yummy, yummy color. What else is blooming here? This is this cool pink or. It's called shocking pink. <laughs> so, but she doesn't look pink. She looks like bright purple. So, it's another Inca Stylus Giganta. This one decided not to bloom, but she's pushing two kikis and seems pretty happy. So, we'll let her be. Something here is blooming. Hello. Now this one is blooming first time since I put it in a basket. I took it from the pot for some reason when the, you know, you see that um, canes are start shriveling a lot and leaves were not doing so good. So the root system was not doing well in the pot. I put it again, no media, a little bit of coconut fiber, tied it up to the basket. And all these roots you see, she grew since she's in the basket. And I don't think it's been a year, maybe it was in the spring when I put her in this basket and she's blooming. Let's see her name. Let's see your name. And let's see the flowers, also very fragrant, very pretty, boxy, burgundy color. <laughs> not really giving us nice color here oh come on <laughs> so pretty love her remind me tulip a little bit if the tulip opened up <laughs> so here I have oh, what do I have here Mm. okay if i find the name i'll know what it is <laughs> what is it like cycnoches type right so they are dormant now none of them have leaves but some of them starting to grow new growth i see little here i see some are in trouble like this one start rotting and i sprayed her with a hydrogen peroxide and seems like it stopped progressing hardens a little bit not soft and hopefully she'll give me this uh, new growth because this is one of my favorites the wine delight which is so fragrant 
this one I don't see any growth yet so let's move on let's move on we're gonna check out the few orchids here is uh, the sun loving viandas I have this beauty that is blooming for first time pretty big spike uh, flowers <sighs> how describe these colors <laughs> Mm, pale pink yellowish kind of pastel colors if you will a little bit brighter reddish lip but they are pretty good size flowers so those were the uh, the bundle that i bought a while ago from mods mm, is it been a year maybe over a year I would need to check when I bought the bundle, but they grew a lot. So there are um, two of which, they are the same in the, in the pot. So the second one has a flower spike. This one blooming first time also from the same bundle. This has little more purple in it. But I like how the flowers are so flat and roundish also a little fragrance in there they're a little bit smaller in size and blooming first time but looks happy and <laughs> look at this yellow one that it's orchid starting to bloom and you know they don't like cold spells because the leaves are turned red, so I need to spray it with Epsom salt. I uh, do need some fertilizing here. This one is in, on, on, in the way out, on the way out, but there is a new spike here. And we have yellow with the yellow spots, I mean red spots on it, cranberry spots love yellows and love reds this baby gave me two flower spikes but it's always so hard to film red <laughs> it just doesn't want to come out this looks pretty close to the color kind of bloody red so beautiful and with the cold spells lots of yellow leaves on viandas on dendrobiums so and it's okay we'll lose them they will stay a little bit shaggy but they will get some more growth this is another red uh, mokara or aranda purple had two spikes on the way out oh look who is speaking here hello she's actually blooming second time she's just starting to open up that's also the Mods Orchids from the bundle. It was bundle of 15. They still have these bundles for sale. So I just love them. They look so healthy. Each and every of them growing well, looking the double and triple in size. And they're really blooming already for me. This one gets a little bit more yellow as she matures. look at this size those are also from the same patch but they just grew so much and they were blooming few times already for me it's sunny here so i'm not sure about the light this is pink one my, one of my favorite purple very fragrant super fragrant and she's in many of my videos with her name we have whites there and red renoncera the red one is renoncera hybrid no no name smaller flowers but super bright red bloody red <laughs> and there are two flower spikes from the white terret or orchid vienda the pencil viandas and something is gonna bloom here there is another there's baby a baby grow I mean the flower spike from the baby of this renoncera hybrid so mama and the baby are blooming 
and we have something here on the background beautiful um like granite color <laughs> on the pig background very big flowers so all are there here mucaris around this and the tiered orchids all like can be adapted to full sun all right i have a couple more in enclosure but there is a big cattleya growing so i'm just very quickly show that. all right here is on the patio by the pool i have few orchids that are blooming here is still an abscess under this uh, elephant foot <laughs> palm <laughs> or plant so they are pretty happy there and in them as i said got lots of yellow leaves lost lots of leaves and um, but still blooming this one is getting a couple more spikes and she's so pretty or he's so pretty <laughs> they were so popular this year in the tamiyami show at the tamiyami show this year it was lots and lots of them different varieties i've seen even exactly this one oh by the way um i just wanted to say hello to a viewer that i met at tamiyami show is it jacqueline from jamaica that was so nice um, thank you Jacqueline for coming up to me and we had a little chat. I wish guys I could see your orchids. There are some subscribers that do have orchids and I try to go and check them out and sign up for you guys and give everybody support. But not all of you have the channels. <laughs> not all of you have can show off your orchids. Anyway, that would be great. Um, there were a few more here. This one, eggplant orchid or plum orchid, just because of the color, I call it this way. This has been dropping, it's been blooming forever. It's just forever. Super gorgeous. Gorgeous. Always super happy and can we see you <laughs> the antelope kind of orchid very small flowers but very cute she started with two flower spikes but i don't know is it a cold spell or something got to it but really just two flowers on the other spikes left okay. what we have here Same with two large flower spikes. There is one more is coming, but again, lots of flowers were lost on them. One reason or another. And last but not least, cat Leah. So I don't know, I'm trying to cover the sun up and see if it can be <laughs> better view or if we're gonna see it on the sun because of the pink lavender color glaring off on the sun but she bloomed for me before and she's blooming again two flowers on one flower spike and they are pretty big in size like wow <laughs> so this one is not waxy so it doesn't stay open for long maybe a week or so but she's not blooming long kind of silky um very thin petals the ones that are waxy those will bloom long but uh, these beautiful babies are gorgeous but they do not stay open for long love her love her she's getting big and I, we've seen her <laughs> not long ago with this broken tag here 
all right this is it this is it for this video thank you guys for watching if you didn't subscribe please subscribe and um the next video i have little haul from the boca Ratan orchid society show last weekend just a very few orchids that i'm gonna show off